Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is Shamira, and today's video I'm going to be showing you what I have written or what I have highlighted in my CPT and ICD-10 book that is going to be strictly related to obstetrics and gynecology. So let's just jump right into this video. I am in the CPT book and we are starting at the female genital system. So what I think I'm going to do is just play music and then kind of like go through the pages because my CPT and my ICD-10 book are literally like a diary. So if I were to read everything that I have written, we would be here for hours. So I will just um, slowly go through the pages, play some music. You guys can read what I have written. If you have any questions on what I have written, definitely comment them down below and I will get back to you like I do all the other comments. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. And then if there is anything that I feel like I want to explain, I will jump on and you guys will hear me talking then. But for right now, we're just going to play music and enjoy the video.
Okay, so that is it for the female genital system and the maternity section. My office also does urodynamic studies, um, which is basically bladder function tests that they do for patients that may have stress urinary incontinence or overactive bladder, or they may have um, uterovaginal prolapse, those type of things. So I'm going to show you guys what I have written in regards to those procedures. And then I'm also going to show you guys, I believe, uh, where I have Nexplanon insertions in that information. So we're not done with CPT just yet. We're going to move on to those areas and then we'll move over to ICD-10. <music> All right, you guys, we are now in my ICD-10 book and we are going to start with the O section and the O's is um, only the pregnancy, childbirth, and the puerperium. Um, and then I go over to the ends and the only thing that I focus on in the end section is going to be like urinary um, incontinence or um, disorders like prolapses from cystocele, rectocele, those type of things. And then I do believe we go to the D's and for the D section, I only pay attention to um, the uterine fibroids. So let's start with the O's.